Here it is, everyone. One of the most anticipated things from the Lego Movie 2. It's the Rexelsior. 1,800 pieces go into this, and the finished product weighs just shy of 4 pounds, or 1.8 kilos. It's Rex's big mother ship, a spaceship that is shaped like a fist or a gauntlet. Kind of like a dark blue infinity gauntlet with no gems. In universe, it's able to smash through all sorts of things with great ease, and, well, the real thing is actually fairly sturdy itself, and you can probably do some real life damage with it. The interior definitely seemed rather hollow as I was building it, but once it's all complete, it's very sturdy. There's an integral interlocking Technic brick skeleton that goes through the whole thing that really holds everything together in one place. Which is a good thing, because it's designed to be held like this. You're supposed to actually swoosh this thing around. It's probably the largest thing that LEGO has ever made that's designed to be handled. Quite literally, as well as figuratively. I mean, you don't even need to use this hand under here if you don't want. You can just hold it like that and swoosh it around with a single hand. Now, it is fairly heavy, and you might not want to do this for a long time. There are also some kind of sharp edges around this handle area so it's not the most comfortable thing that's for sure but it's definitely quite doable it's not quite the same though as wearing a gauntlet i wish there was an easy way and there definitely isn't with all the all the technic stuff going through the center but i wish there was an easy way to remove a lot of that center stuff and to move the handle position closer to the middle of the ship it would just be really cool if the main grip was somewhere around here inside of the body in the center so that the whole thing could really operate as an extension of your own fist. Now with the grip that we do get, you see that white thing back there? That's actually intended to be a trigger. You put your index finger over that and when you pull it, it fires off a spring-loaded shooter at the front. Strictly speaking, it's supposed to be a rapid-fire system with this gravity-feed magazine of spring-loaded shooters that are ready to fire, just moving itself down and being ready to fire off the next round or the next bolt every time you pull the trigger. However, in practice, I've really tried to make space for this to allow it to just fall down in there nicely. It just has too much, too much friction from side to side, and it easily gets into... A, a canted position, a little bit, a little bit off, where it just doesn't want to fall. So you may need to put a hand up there and just push this down as you pull the trigger to be able to go through all of those. Also, depending upon manufacturing tolerances in some parts, you may not have this problem at all. But with the parts that I got with this set, yep, get stuck, and there was no way to properly fix it. I tried for like a half an hour. There are also some spare spring-loaded shooter bolts here in a separate clip, and those do need to be manually loaded. Let's check out some details, though, and there are plenty of them, surprisingly. This little bridge tower looks like just a bridge tower, right? A little small-scale build, but it opens up, and look at that! They have nanofig versions of both Emmett and Rex, with space for both in there, even when it's closed. Not only that, but you can remove all of this and all of this to expose even more nanoscale interior. This is the main command deck here with some consoles and panels and little nanoscale seats suggested with one by one panels. As you move back, you get into the skate park, which has a couple of nanoscale skateboards represented by blue colored roller skates. And they also have a spot for some water cooler discussion. In spite of the design focus on strength, there actually is some interior detail in the main hull as well. This is just an opening hangar door, but you can bring down this entire side to see a lot of detail in there. And this is all too small for my finger, so I'll use the arrow. You got a couple of spots to hold on to these micro scale or nano scale builds for ships. On the left is one that's called an Interraptor, according to the official description, but I think perhaps it's supposed to be a Rex wing, and then this is a nano scale version of Rex's Rex Explorer. I'll show you these up more closely separately later on, but there's also a little bit of a, a moving crane over here and then a suggestion of a ladder that you can go up and then this is a cargo storage area and then on the lowermost level is a rec room with a pool table or a snooker table there and a whole row of micro or nanoscale arcade cabinets along the back as well as of course a vending machine 
And then down here you have a huge screen with huge speakers on either side so you can play a video game or watch a movie. And there's still more, even on this one side, because this entire panel comes down. And though there is a lot of empty space here, there is still some more small detail with a couple of vending machines there. A console over here closer to us, and in the center is a holographic nav display. I'll have to pull some of that out so you can see it a little bit better. It's just too far in there and too shaded. Here's the same thing from the other side and with some more light getting through. And you can also rotate that center display, but again, it's still a little bit tough to see. There's actually an exclusive printed piece inside of that clear globe. There's a look at it by itself. So it's a trans light blue minifig head. And in fact, it's printed on both sides. And then finally, on this side of the fist is another hanger bay. And here you actually have to get your fingers in there and pull the thing out or just take the entire ship and just lean it over to the side. This is Emmett's rescue rocket. Again, I'll show you that more closely, but you can also put one of the other ships in there, one of Rex's own. And as long as this thumb is out of the way, you can also pull down this small panel here. And that's a gym, clearly. And it even has its own indoor rock climbing wall. I forget if this room had a specific movie connection to it, but you can see there's just a platform there where you can put a nano figure or a small raptor and have them listening to some very, very loud music. Speaking of the raptors, there are five of them included in this set using the baby dinosaur mold that I absolutely love. You get two variants here. So the dark blue ones on the left have the blue, uh, the blue paint or the blue print on them uh, for the eye, each one's left eye. And then you get these gunmetal gray ones, which I believe are going to remain exclusive to this set. And they have the lime green markings on them. And that includes the marking on their left eyes. For tiny scale builds, we get two of these fighters and they have the different color scheme on either side. So just the one slash of the lime green going through. This is a tiny version of Rex's Rexplorer, which looks very good to me. The shaping is pretty spot on. You can immediately recognize what it's supposed to be. And from the shape and the color scheme, you can immediately recognize Emmett's house converted into the rescue rocket here. So you know, it's pretty appropriate for its size. Got a little nice detailing on the back. And that last thing over there is just a, well, it's a forklift, you know, to use in your cargo bay. Here's a closer look at the nano fig versions of Emmett and Rex, and these have a tremendous amount of detail for how small they are. I definitely could not have asked for more at this scale. They are immediately recognizable. They, I think they have even more detail than they really needed here. So I absolutely cannot complain one bit. And I love nano figs, and I actually have some more great news about these two that I'll share with you in just a minute or two. First though, the minifigure versions of those two characters on the left is Stubble Trouble Emmett as he's trying to make himself more cool and to seem more mature like Rex and he's kind of transforming himself into Rex or trying to and he's got the exact same vest there. It's actually the exact same piece with the dark blue and the same printing on it but at least his legs are his normal ones. And around the back, you can again see the same printing. And you can also see that there's a little bit of additional printing for a secondary face for this version of Emmett. And that's where he has tried to wipe off the stubble that he has drawn onto his face. And you also get an angry, very seriously angry, not comically angry, but seriously angry version of a face for Rex. And here's the great news I teased about the nano figures because these are the spares I was left with after building the set, and everyone who gets this set should get the same set of spares. I use the word set there too much, but you know what I'm talking about. These are exclusive printed nano figures, and you get an extra of each, which is fantastic. I love that. Uh, of course, you would expect to get a lot of spare pieces in such a large set, but just in general, this selection here puts a smile on my face. Comparing the Rex Celsius to the other big Rex ship, the Rex Explorer, I'm happy with this size difference because while it is noteworthy and it is obvious, it's not extreme. You know, I think that if somebody really wanted a decent sized Rex ship from the movie, but didn't want to spend 
$150 US for the Rex Celsius, you wouldn't have to feel bad settling, if you will, for the Rex Explorer. And I think the Rex Explorer actually looks better from some angles and has some, some nicer shaping to it that's more interesting. But, you know, the size difference is just not overwhelming. As for that $150 price tag, well, I think it's very fair. For 1,800 pieces, not all of them being small by any means, and some of them being rather large, and for the amount of content that you get here, the amount of stuff that is here, the overall size of the thing, how sturdy it is, how good the build is, all the little nano scale stuff, this is good. I think it's good for your money, and I feel like you get more stuff here with this set for that price than you do with many other sets of this price for other large single builds and spaceships from <clears throat> other themes. Overall, I'm very happy with this thing, and the only disappointment is the spring-loaded shooter arrangement, which doesn't work so well for me because of the specific parts that I got. If you get one of these and it works for you, excellent. It's because of differences in the parts and not because I built anything wrong, I assure you. If you want to see the full build of this, all four hours of it, you have two options. One is to watch it in real time. If you want to just throw it on in the background, I have distilled down just the sounds of the clicking together of individual pieces. No music and no speeding up or anything, and I tried to be careful with the process, so hopefully it'll be a relaxing watch for folks who want that sort of content. If you want to really sit down and watch the build, but you don't have four hours, I've got a roughly half hour version, which I think is a decent length for the size of this thing. It doesn't speed it up too much. And that version has some hopefully relaxing music to go with it. I will link to both versions of the build on screen in just a moment. So check out one of those if you want to. Thank you very much for watching this review. I will talk to you again very soon.